Right now in this race for Indiana, Trump is setting the pace for the field, while Ted Cruz is sucking fumes, which may explain why he's making that face. <laughs> With one day to go, the Republican second runner is trailing Trump by 15 points, even though less than a week ago, Cruz was up by 16 points. Wow. It's almost as if spending time there campaigning hurt him. <laughs> well, you know what they say about Ted Cruz, to know him is to wish you didn't. <laughs> Indiana voters. It, it, it seems that Indiana voters clearly agree with former Speaker of the House and former beef turned jerky John Boehner. <laughs> Who last week called Cruz a miserable son of a bitch? <laughs> By the way, I checked with I checked with CBS, and I I'm apparently allowed to say miserable son of a bitch if I'm talking about Ted Cruz. <laughs> Beat. Still, the former Republican speaker calling a presidential candidate a son of a bitch is as big of an insult as I can imagine. Because I do not have the same imagination as John Boehner. Because at the same event, Boehner also called Cruz Lucifer in the flesh. <laughs> and Boehner knows Lucifer because they clearly go to the same tanning salon. <laughs> <laughs> and ha ha ha, we all laughed. But come on, if Ted Cruz really were the devil, I think there'd be signs. The earth would open up and swallow people when they said his name. The next president of the United States, Ted Cruz. Oh my God! Oh my, oh my God! Where did she go? Where did she go? She vanished instantly. It's almost as if there's some sort of demonic power about saying the phrase, the next president of the United States, Ted Cruz. Go! Oh! <laughs> okay, where was I? Where was I? Okay. Uh, let's see. Right. Right, Ted Cruz, Ted Cruz can't seem to catch a break in Indiana, even at Cruz rallies. Something truly bizarre happened last night. Every once in a while, Ted Cruz gets a heckler, but this time, the heckler was somewhere between 10 and 12 years old. Listen to this. And when we do that... All right, apparently there's a young man who's having some problems. Yes, a child shouted, you suck at Ted Cruz. <laughs> now, we don't know the heckler's name, but we do have a picture of the child. There you go. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just want to point out that this huge font saying, you suck, is not ours. That is how Fox News captioned this moment. <laughs> Meanwhile, U.S. artillery shelling and drone attacks is buried in the crawl, but Ted Cruz sucks is up here in a 190-point man walks on the moon font. Man walks on the moon and sucks. But Ted Cruz showed that he's the type of strong leader willing to stand up to a small child. Children should actually speak with respect. You know, in my household, when a child behaves that way, they get a spanking. You know things aren't looking good for the Cruz campaign when they're trying out a new slogan, Ted Cruz 16, he hits kids. <laughs> Either way... Either way, he has called Indiana his firewall, and he is going to have to pull off a miracle tomorrow if he ever hopes to hear the phrase, the next president of the United States, Ted Cruz. Go oh out! We'll be right back with Bill O'Reilly.